Hey, it's Aaron. Today I've got a question from Bart. I actually know this guy. <laughs> anyway, Bart wants to know, why don't they just put a motor in each of the wheels of an electric car so that they can control its speed, right? This makes sense. These are usually called hub motors. You put a you put an electric motor in each of the four wheels and you drive each of them independently like that. That would make for excellent handling characteristics, beautiful traction, control, all kinds of stuff. But there's some big downsides to doing that. The biggest of those is unslung weight. So unslung weight in a car is any weight that is not compensated for by the suspension. Unslung weight adds a huge amount of trouble to noise, vibration, and harshness. The NVH in a car, the, the bane of all automotive design. So uh, what it does is you have, if you have that weight in the, in the wheel, it is not on the suspension of the car. So when you hit something, go, 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 right? Very difficult to make up for that. You actually have to beef the suspension more than you would if that extra weight was on the suspension instead. So in order to avoid that, you don't put the motors in the wheels. That's the biggest reason. The second biggest reason is just complexity. There's really no reason to put to do all of that. When we have mechanics with the various things that we use to create traction control and other things, both through braking and through uh, differentials and such, the mechanics are already super well established very cheap and very easy. Nice. Cheap is cheap. So there's really no reason to add to the complexity when we already have a great solution. The other problem that we've run into that wouldn't be as big of a deal but would still be a problem is damage. When you add that to the wheel, you're taking up space that would otherwise be for the brakes, and so you're kind of compacting that space. Now, the three biggest things that are damaged on a vehicle most commonly are tires and wheels and fenders, right? Tire, wheel, fender. Because tires and wheels, that's what runs over random things, right? Hits curbs, all that kind of stuff. And then fenders because that's the first point of contact whenever you're anywhere. So you really, if you add more to that, you're actually going to up the chances of more damage and thus more cost in repair. So it's just another layer that doesn't need to be there. So overall, the basic reasons are just come down to engineering. It's much cheaper and easier not to put motors in the wheels or have hub motors. So hopefully this answers your question, Bart. If you've got a question, you can hit me up. You can find me down in the comments right here on this video. You can find me on carniscafe.com, drivemodeshow.com, Facebooks and X's and whatnot. Just make sure you DM or uh, tag me so I see it. Yeah. If you got questions, I'll try to answer it. This has been Aaron. Talk to you again soon.